how much money can I make as a copywriter? I mean, how long is a piece of string? There really is no ceiling, but it totally depends on how smart you work, how hard you work, and who you know, the jobs you get, those kinds of things. Uh, you will have heard watching this stream or this video right now, you've probably heard the phrase six-figure copywriter. And it gets thrown around a lot. Um, I hate it as well. Every time we use it, or I would like to think, every time we use it, we are using it semi-ironically in a sense of like, it's such an arbitrary benchmark. And like, <laughs> oh, we'll come on to the copywriting aspect of that in a minute. But um, point is, uh, you can make basically as much as you need to as a copywriter, because the doors that it opens for you are fairly endless. Um, cause you are learning a skill that is transferable to pretty much any job you'll ever have in your life. Um, and importantly, it's a skill if you're folk, especially if you're focusing on uh, sales copywriting or conversion copywriting or direct response copywriting, however you want to frame it. Um, if you're focusing on that kind of copywriting, it's a skill that is also directly related to how much money a company earns. And if you're earning a company more money, naturally you can earn more for yourself. Uh, and occasionally you will also get royalties from those increases. So how much money can I make as a copywriter? It really is down to you. And it is that magic answer of it depends. Um, something, something I think perhaps we should do. I, I saw this question come up once or twice earlier in this chat as well. Um, how comfortable are we revealing how much we make? I'm never comfortable revealing how much I make, but I'm trying to make an exception for this stream. So we actually talked about this very topic, this very thing. We even have a video on youtube.com slash copy that called, uh, I believe it's called, how much can I make as a copywriter, which is this question. And it's a question that we get a lot, a lot, a lot. And uh, I have been pretty, being, try, I've tried to be very transparent. Um, like I've shared W2s, I've shared tax forms, I've shared like how much money I make in uh, the Discord before. And so like, for example, in 2020, I earned $415,000. That's how much I made in 2020. 2021, I filed for an extension on my taxes, so I'll get back to you on my adjusted gross income uh, at some later time. But in terms of like what I just made from copywriting by itself in 2021, it was upwards of $200,000, I think upwards of three. And so again, like copywriting, especially freelance copywriting, the, the allure of it is that there is no ceiling to how much you can make. Hmm. unfortunately there's also no floor to how little you can make <laughs> and so that's one of the again you know side benefits of working in-house you have that salary you have that floor from which you can build off of uh same thing with any sort of retainer deal like i know i think is it like eighty thousand pounds is like a hundred thousand uh, dollars um but yeah so like i in pounds i earn over six figures um a year uh for me i would say like substantially over from what I ever expected to earn, uh, which feels great, of course. Um, but one thing I will say, like th there is this, this arbitrary benchmark of, of six figure copywriter and, and people going like, oh yeah, like that's, you know, that's what you can hit. And Sean, we've spoken about this recently and this is too, too philosophical to go too deep into, but a big part of it as well is once you earn enough to just kind of live, um, and to cover your bills and to kind of treat the people you love. After that, it does become like, it's not as special. And uh, um, the funny enough, uh, a CEO who I've just started working with, um, we went out for drinks the other day uh, and, and he, he used this great phrase to me and I shared this with Sean the other day, um, which was, it's not the speed you go at, but it's the acceleration. Going from earning like 20k a year to like 150k a year is insane and that like year that you go through getting to that stage um is like oh my god i can't believe this everything feels amazing you're so grateful it's amazing and although you still you're still grateful after that fact it does become you're now at a new baseline of like okay well what's next i want the next thing so one thing I would say is like, don't just chase the money. Don't just chase that like six figures thinking that, oh my God, like that is, that's everything. That's going to be everything. Because when you get there, it then does become, okay, what is the, what's the next thing? Um, that's why one of the pieces of advice I give for like charging and, and aims for, for how much you should earn is always work out how much it takes for you to live and then how much it takes for you to live comfortably. 
and aim for that. Just get there because pro I promise you, once you get there, that's going to feel so great. I mean, so again, a TLDR for that, how much money can I make as a copywriter? Uh, there, there is no ceiling, but as Sean so aptly put it, there is no floor either. Um, a lot of the time it is down to how much you work, how smart you work, who you know, and the kinds of jobs that you're taking on. If you're talking purely about averages in terms of how much does the average freelancer make, how much does the average in-house copywriter make, this is totally anecdotal off the top of my head, and it will differ from industry to industry. I would say the average an in-house copywriter makes in dollars, this is, tends to average between $35,000 and $60,000 in that kind of range. Um, freelance, uh, I would say maybe I'm, this, this is always going to be biased because the people who I know who are freelance copywriters worked very hard to be freelance copywriters, therefore are usually earning an okay amount. So the average really of the people that in the CC and then copy that that we hang out with is between, I would say, $5,000 to $10,000 a month. Um, I'd say that's probably the average uh, for freelancers who work hard. And I'd say that's a good two to three years of work for most of them. Mm. I mean, I have a quibble with that number. I have a feeling that it's very barbell shaped that like the people that we interact with, the cool people, they make a lot of money and they make a lot of money because they're cool. Yeah. Uh, but then on the opposite end, there's a whole bunch of people who might be cool, but they're making no money. And so the average brings you to that middle point, but the skew, oh man, very yeah. wide standard deviation there. So the number of people as freelancers who are making like between zero and $1,000 a month, I would say massively outweighs the number of people that are making a decent living every single month. Mm. Yeah. Would you also say though that they're people who are in their first year? No, I have a feeling that there are people that try and try and try and try to crack at this and just end up going nowhere and then get frustrated and wash out because they never, the, 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 like there's so many different components of copywriting. And if you're a freelancer, like not only do you have to be a, an amazing writer and a really good marketer and understand human psychology and sales and all that fun stuff, you also have to be really good at like pitching yourself. And let's be real, hmm. most writers are not very good at selling yeah. themselves. They are not very confident people. Most of them write because they want to be left alone. That that's a, well, that's one of the biggest lies actually of for when beginners get into this is if you've been sold that this is something for introverts. Oh, in my experience, it certainly hasn't been. Um, maybe it can be, but I can't speak to that. Um, we've also just had a question of how long have both of you been copywriting? So how long have you been copywriting, Sean? Uh, I'm gonna say yeah, I'm gonna say I started in 2015. Let's just go with that. I mean, I had a pretty robust career before that. I literally taught rhetoric at a university, three universities. And so uh, all of that was applicable to copywriting as well. So there you go. Uh, I have been copywriting, I would say for like solidly for four years now. Um, I, I dabbled before that where I would do bits of advertising when I was like 15, 16, but it, not properly. So yeah, four years. Um, so yeah, there we go. I think we've covered that question. And if you want more of a breakdown, go and have a look at youtube.com forward slash copy that where you can find a video titled how much do copywriters really make, I think it is.